Hello travelers. You know everyone thinks they know Japan. Sushi, samurai, bullet trains. But beneath that neon glow, beneath that veneer of politeness, lies a country of stunning contradictions. A place where ancient traditions meet hypermodernity head on. Today, we're diving into the top travel tips for not just visiting, but Japan. Forget the tourist traps and tired itineraries. We're going deeper, seeking out the soul of this island nation. We'll wander from the neon-drenched alleys of Shinjuku to the serene temples of Kyoto. We'll slurp down Michelin-starred ramen and knock back sake in smoky izakayas. So, pack your curiosity and loosen your belt, kids. We're about to unlock Japan. Look, I get it. You're not going to be fluent in Japanese before your trip. Hell, I'm not fluent in Japanese a dozen trips. But learning a few key phrases, that shows respect. It's like offering a heartfelt cheers before you drain someone's beer. Start with the basics. Konnichiwa, hello. Arigato gozaimasu, thank you. Sumimasen, excuse me. These are your magic words, your passport to warmer interactions. Don't be afraid to butcher the pronunciation. The Japanese appreciate the effort, trust me, and who knows? You might just stumble into a conversation with a local sushi chef or a sake master. That's where the real stories are, my friends. Not in some guidebook, but in the human connection. Forget high fives and fist bumps, folks. In Japan, bowing is the name of the game. It's a language all its own, conveying respect, gratitude, and even apology. Don't worry, nobody's expecting a perfect 90 degree angle from you. Just a slight bow of the head and a respectful dip at the waist will do the trick. Think of it like this. A little bow goes a long way in showing you're not just another clueless tourist. You're a traveler, here to experience a new culture, not just snap selfies with it. And hey, if you get it wrong, laugh it off. The Japanese have a great sense of humor, even when it comes to our cultural faux pas. Let's face it, nobody wants to fumble with loose change, especially in a country as fast-paced as Japan. You're here to experience the culture, the food, the vibe, not to count coins like a goddamn accountant. That's where the Suica or Pasmo card comes in, your ticket to ride, literally. These rechargeable cards are your passport to Japan's incredibly efficient public transportation system. Think of it as a golden ticket to hop on and off trains, buses, even some vending machines, without the hassle of buying individual tickets every time. Trust me, it'll save you time, headaches, and maybe even a few yen. Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. These cities are a symphony of neon lights, ancient temples, and a whole lot of people. And the trains, they're the arteries that keep everything moving. With a Suica or Pasmo card, you can navigate this urban labyrinth like a seasoned pro. Just tap and go, no fuss, no muss. It's like having a backstage pass to the best show on earth. And let's be real, time is precious, especially when you're exploring a new place. Every minute you save fiddling with tickets is another minute you can spend slurping down a bowl of perfect ramen or losing yourself in a sake-fueled karaoke session. So, do yourself a favor, get yourself a Suica or Pasmo card. Your sanity will thank you. Look, I love sushi and ramen as much as the next guy, but Japan? Japan's a goddamn culinary wonderland that goes way beyond those crowd pleasers. We're talking about a place where even the simplest dishes are elevated to an art form. Forget your preconceived notions about Japanese food. This is about embracing the unfamiliar, the unexpected. Think delicate tempura, crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. Think yakitori, smoky, savory skewers that'll have you licking your fingers. This is about pulling up a stool at a centuries-old ramen store and letting the steaming broth warm your soul. It's about the ritual, the respect, the pure, unadulterated love of food. From the bustling markets of Osaka to the hidden alleyways of Kyoto, every corner of Japan offers a new flavor to discover. Don't be afraid to be adventurous, to step outside your comfort zone. Try the street food, the local specialties, the things you can't even pronounce. Talk to the vendors, the old ladies cooking up magic in tiny kitchens. Listen to their stories, Taste their passion in every bite. This is about more than just eating. It's about experiencing a culture through its food. It's about understanding the soul of a nation, one delicious mouthful at a time. So go on, dig in, you won't regret it. Japan, man. It's a place where ancient traditions and modern life exist in this bizarre, beautiful harmony. You've got neon-drenched skyscrapers casting shadows over centuries-old temples. You've got businessmen in suits offering incense at shrines. 
It's a place where rituals matter, where respect is paramount, where taking off your shoes before entering a home isn't just polite, it's ingrained in their DNA. And honestly, it's refreshing. It's a reminder that there's beauty in slowing down, in appreciating the small things, in honoring the past. Now, nobody's expecting you to be a master of Japanese etiquette overnight. You're gonna make mistakes, it's inevitable. But here's the thing, approach everything with respect, with a willingness to learn, and you'll be surprised how forgiving people can be. Observe how locals behave, ask questions, be present. Don't just be another tourist snapping selfies in front of sacred sites. Listen to the whispers of history, feel the weight of tradition, and you'll start to understand what makes this country so damn special. This isn't about conforming, it's about respecting a culture that's been around for centuries. It's about immersing yourself in something bigger than yourself, about connecting with the soul of Japan. And trust me, that's an experience that will stay with you long after you've left. Japan, you see, it's a study in contrast. Ancient temples tucked into neon-drenched alleyways. Serene gardens humming with the ghosts of geishas and samurai. You're gonna need a wardrobe as versatile as the country itself. First off, ditch the cargo shorts and flip-flops, unless you're aiming for the clueless tourist aesthetic. Pack light, pack right. A few pairs of comfortable shoes are key. You'll be doing a lot of walking, trust me. And listen, the weather here is a fickle beast. Sunny skies can turn into torrential downpours faster than you can say konnichiwa. A lightweight, packable raincoat? Consider it your new best friend. One last thing. Japan, it's a place where tradition runs deep. So pack with a little respect, you dig. Leave the ripped jeans and provocative tees at home. Go for something a little more understated. You'll blend in better that way. Listen up, because this is important. Chopsticks, they're not just utensils in Japan, they're an extension of the soul, a symbol of culture, a culinary art form. So put down the fork and listen up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, mastering chopsticks, it takes practice. But don't worry, even the clumsiest gaijin can get the hang of it. First things first, relax. No death grip on those sticks. Hold them like you would a pen, but with a little more finesse. The bottom stick, it stays put. Use your thumb and ring finger to keep it steady. The top stick, that's your worker bee. Control it with your index and middle finger. Practice the pinch, the lift, and for God's sake, the placement. Look, nobody expects you to be a chopstick ninja on day one. But making an effort, that shows respect. It shows you're willing to embrace the culture. And who knows, you might even impress a local or two. Tokyo. It's a sensory overload, a neon-drenched labyrinth of humanity. The city pulses with an energy that's almost palpable, a frenetic dance of lights and sounds that never seems to sleep. And it's damn near impossible not to fall in love with its chaotic charm. The organized chaos, the seamless blend of tradition and modernity, the way every corner seems to hold a new surprise. But to really understand Japan, you gotta venture beyond the bright lights, beyond the bullet trains, beyond the familiar tourist traps. The true essence of Japan lies in its quieter corners, in the places where time seems to slow down. Lose yourself in the ancient alleys of Kyoto, where geishas still glide through the shadows and temples whisper tales of centuries past. Here, history is not just preserved, it's lived, breathed and felt in every stone and every shadow. Hike the sacred trails of Mount Fuji, its snow-capped peak a beacon of tranquility amidst the chaos. The journey to the summit is as much a spiritual pilgrimage as it is a physical challenge, offering moments of introspection and awe. Head south to the tropical islands of Okinawa, where the pace of life is slower, the beaches are pristine, and the locals still practice the ancient martial art of karate. The islands are a world apart, with their own unique culture and traditions, a place where the past and present coexist in harmony. Japan's a country of contrasts, a tapestry woven from ancient traditions and modern marvels. From the futuristic skyline of Tokyo, to the timeless beauty of its temples and shrines, every aspect of Japan tells a story of resilience, innovation, and reverence for the past. To truly experience its magic, you've got to ditch the itinerary and get lost. Wander aimlessly through its streets, let curiosity be your guide, and you'll find that the most memorable experiences often come from the unexpected. Rent a car, hop on a local train, or even brave the bullet train system. Each mode of transport offers a different perspective, a different way to see and experience the country. The trains, in particular, are a marvel of efficiency and comfort, whisking you from one end of the country to the other in a matter of hours. Just get out there and explore. Talk to the locals. Get lost in translation. The language barrier can be daunting, but it's also an opportunity to connect on a deeper level, to find common ground in gestures, smiles, and shared experiences. Eat strange and wonderful things. 
Japan's culinary landscape is as diverse as it is delicious, with each region offering its own specialties and flavors. From street food stalls to Michelin-starred restaurants, there's always something new to try. That's where the real adventure lies. In the flavors that surprise you, the dishes that challenge your palate, the meals that become memories. Wander through the bustling fish markets of Osaka, where the air hangs heavy with the scent of the sea, and the vendors hawk their wares with a theatrical flair. It's a sensory experience like no other, a glimpse into the daily life and culture of the city. Visit Hiroshima, a city forever marked by history, yet pulsing with a resilient spirit and a determination to rebuild. The Peace Memorial Park and Museum are poignant reminders of the past, while the city itself stands as a testament to the strength and resilience of its people. Seek out the hidden hot springs tucked away in the mountains, where you can soak your weary bones and let the healing waters wash away your troubles. The onsen experience is a quintessential part of Japanese culture, offering a moment of peace and relaxation amidst the hustle and bustle. Lose yourself in the tranquility of a traditional tea ceremony. The bitter brew, a welcome respite from the sensory overload of modern life. The ceremony is a dance of precision and grace, a moment of mindfulness and reflection. Japan's beauty lies not just in its iconic landmarks, but in its hidden corners, its unexpected encounters, its ability to surprise and delight at every turn. It's in the small villages where time seems to stand still in the quiet moments of connection with strangers, in the serendipitous discoveries that make travel so rewarding. So go on, get out there and discover your own Japan. Let the country reveal itself to you in its own time, in its own way. Embrace the journey, the adventure, the unknown. Because in Japan, every moment is an opportunity to explore, to learn, to grow. And that's the true magic of travel. Forget Michelin stars. Forget those hole-in-the-wall ramen shops everyone tells you about. In Japan, the real culinary adventure starts on the street corner. I'm talking about vending machines, people. These aren't your greasy American rest stop vending machines, spitting out bags of stale chips and questionable candy bars. We're talking hot coffee, canned corn pottage, even bowls of goddamn noodles, all dispensed with a push of a button and the clink of a few yen. It's a beautiful kind of chaos, a symphony of neon and chrome, promising everything from a quick caffeine fix to a steaming hot bowl of mystery meat stew. Trust me, you haven't lived until you've had a beer from a Japanese vending machine at 3 a.m. It's the kind of glorious, unexpected detail that makes Japan so damn fascinating. So ditch the guidebook, ignore your itinerary, and embrace the unknown. You never know what kind of culinary treasure you'll find lurking behind that next flashing button. All right, folks, let's talk about something truly unique to the Japanese experience, the onsen. Now, before you get any ideas, this isn't some sleazy back alley bathhouse. This is a tradition, a ritual, a chance to get naked with strangers and actually enjoy it. The first time you strip down and slide into that steaming hot water surrounded by naked strangers, you might feel a little exposed. But trust me, the awkwardness fades quickly. What's left is pure, unadulterated relaxation. The Japanese believe in the healing power of these mineral-rich waters, and after a long day of exploring, you will too. So soak it in, literally. Let the stress melt away and embrace the silence. Just remember one thing, no swimsuits allowed. This is about purity, both of a body and mind. So leave your hang-ups at the door and dive in. Let's be honest folks, Japan is not exactly known for its wide open spaces. This is a country where millions of people are crammed onto a chain of islands, and sometimes it feels like they're all trying to get on the same train as you. Crowds are just a part of life here, especially in major cities like Tokyo and Osaka. You'll find them on the subway, in the streets, even at those serene temples you've been dreaming of visiting. But here's the thing, the Japanese have elevated crowd navigation to an art form. It's a ballet of politeness and efficiency, a symphony of shuffling feet and murmured apologies. So take a deep breath, embrace the chaos, and remember, you're not in Kansas anymore. This is Japan, baby, and it's best to just go with the flow. Japan, man, land of contrasts. You've got these neon-drenched megacities pulsing with a frantic energy, but then you step off the Shinkansen into some mountain village and it's like time takes a breath. Everything slows down. You're surrounded by these ancient forests, pristine streams. It's humbling, you know? This deep connection the Japanese have with nature, it's not some tourist brochure nonsense. It's in their DNA. You feel it when you're walking beneath towering cedar trees, sunlight filtering through the leaves, or standing at the edge of a still pond, 
watching koi glide beneath lily pads. It gets under your skin and it makes you realize we're just visitors here, passing through. We've got to tread lightly, respect the power of this ancient natural world. Forget your sterile corporate hotels. If you want to really understand Japan, you got to go old school. I'm talking about a ryokan, a traditional Japanese inn. These places are like stepping back in time. Tatami mats, sliding paper doors, courtyards with meticulously raked gravel gardens. It's all about minimalist beauty, tranquility. You'll sleep on a futon on the floor, eat exquisite multi-course meals served in your room and soak in steaming hot onsen baths. Trust me, it's an experience. And yeah, there's a certain formality to it. You'll be expected to take off your shoes, wear the provided yukata, and observe certain customs. But that's part of the charm. Embrace the ritual. So you think you know how to find your way around? Think again, amigo. Japan's address system is a thing of beauty and madness. It's like they took a perfectly logical system and threw it out the window. Forget about street names and house numbers. We're talking about a system based on districts, blocks and buildings. It's enough to make a seasoned traveler reach for the sake. But hey, that's part of the adventure, right? Getting lost in translation, literally. Just make sure you've got your phone charged and a healthy dose of patience because you're gonna need it. Forget everything you think you know about vending machines, kids. This ain't your gas station, Slim Jim, and stale coffee pit stop. In Japan, these things are like portals to another dimension of dining. A dimension where speed, efficiency, and surprisingly decent food collide. You'll find these chrome and glass godsends tucked away in train stations, street corners, even some back alleys, beacons of deliciousness in the urban jungle. And trust me, the variety will blow your mind. We're talking steaming bowls of ramen, crispy tempura, even elaborate bento boxes, all dispensed with the push of a button and the clink of a few coins. It's a symphony of automation and flavor, and a testament to Japan's love affair with culinary innovation. So, ditch the Michelin stars and white tablecloths for a night. Get down with the locals and experience the glorious, greasy, and undeniably satisfying world of Japanese vending machine cuisine. Look, Japan can be a sensory overload, especially for us gaijin. So here's a few more tips to help you navigate the beautiful chaos. First off, pocket Wi-Fi. Don't even think about leaving your hotel without it. It's your lifeline to navigating, translating and Instagramming the hell out of your trip. Speaking of navigating, download a good translation app. Trust me, even with the best intentions, your attempts at Japanese will likely elicit giggles from the locals. And while we're on the subject of locals, a little respect goes a long way. Learn a few basic phrases, bow when you greet someone, and for God's sake, take off your shoes when you enter someone's home or a traditional restaurant. It's common courtesy. Remember, you're a visitor in their country. Act accordingly. Be respectful, be mindful, and be open to new experiences. That's how you truly connect with a place. So there you have it, my humble, slightly cynical and hopefully helpful guide to surviving, no, thriving in the land of the rising sun. Look, Japan is a wild ride, a captivating, confusing and utterly unforgettable journey that will challenge your perceptions and leave you craving more. Thanks for watching. Use these tips to make your Japan trip unforgettable. And hey, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and tell me about your own adventures in the comments. Who knows, maybe I'll see you there.